I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. So before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture uh, casket, I think I'd like to set the record straight on so many of the uh, blatant lies that are out there about myself right now. Um, and I appreciate the opportunity to tell my side of the story on here. First of all, I didn't lie in the initial press conference. Uh, during that time, it was a very, uh, you know, witch hunt uh, that was going on across the league where everybody in the media was so concerned about who was vaccinated and who wasn't and what that meant and who was being selfish and who would talk about it and what it meant if they said it's a personal decision, they should, shouldn't have to disclose their own uh, medical information or whatnot. And at the time, my plan was to say that I've been immunized. Um, it wasn't uh, some sort of ruse or lie. It was the truth. And I'll get into the whole immunization in, in a second. But uh, had there been a follow-up to my statement that I've been immunized, I would have responded uh, with this. I would have said, look, um, I'm not, uh, you know, some sort of anti-vax flat earther. Um, I, I am somebody who's a critical thinker. Uh, you guys know me. I march to the beat of my own drum. I believe strongly in bodily autonomy and the ability to make choices for your body, not to have to acquiesce to some woke culture or crazed, you know, group of individuals who say you have to do something. Health is not a one-size-fits-all for everybody. And for me, it involved a lot of study in the off-season, much like the study I put into Host and Jeopardy or the weekly study I put into playing in the game. I put a lot of time and energy and research and met with a lot of different people in the medical field 